Okay, question six, we have binomial expansion. So, part A uh, wants us to find the first three terms in ascending powers of x of 1 over the square root of 4 add x. So, first of all, let's write this in power form. So, 1 over root 4 add x is 4 add x to the minus 1 half. Now, we're given the formula for these in the booklet, so let's have a look. Uh, this is also linked down below, so you can get it yourself. So, here's binomial expansion. The guy that we want is 1 add x to the n. Now the problem that we have here is that we don't have a 1 inside of the bracket. We have a 4. So what we do is factor out um, a 4. So we get 4 to the minus 1 half times 1 add x over 4 to the minus 1 half. Now 4 to the minus 1 half is uh, 1 over 4 to the 1 half, so 1 over 2. So we got 1 half, lots of um, 1 and x over 4 to the minus one half. Okay, so we only want the first three terms. So we can say that one half times one add x over four to the power of minus half is approximately one half Okay, so let's have a look at the formula again. So the first term is just going to be 1. So that's nice. Now the second term is nx. Now here our x is x over 4. And n is minus a half. So now we get minus a half times x over 4 and then our third term let's put an add don't know what it's going to be yet plus or minus but we can sort it out so now we get n times n minus 1 times x squared now on the bottom this 1.2 means 1 times 2 don't know why they've chosen that notation, but anyway. So, we've got n, so minus a half times n minus 1 minus 3 halves times x squared, which is x over 4 all squared over two. Okay, so we have one half times one. Now minus a half times x over four is minus x over eight. And then this guy Okay, so now um, minus a half times minus three halves is plus three quarters times x over four all squared is x squared over 16. That's all over two. Now to save writing down all that again, three quarters times 
x squared over 16 is 3x squared over 64. So up on top, we've got 3x squared over 64. And that is being divided by 2. So that's going to be 3x squared over 128. Cool. Now, let's let the one half on the outside inside. So, finally then, we can say that 4 add x to the minus one half is approximately, well it's going to be one half uh, minus x over 16 and then add 3x squared over 256. Cool. Okay, then part B says, hence, find the first three terms of the binomial expansion of 1 over root 4 minus x cubed. So, what we're going to do here is substitute x equals minus x cubed into the above expansion so then we can say that uh, 4 minus x cubed to the minus 1 half is approximately well it's 1 half um, and we had minus x over 16. The x is becoming minus x cubed. So this is going to be add x cubed over 16. And then the x in x squared becomes minus x cubed. So we get add. 3 lots of minus x cubed squared over 256. Now, minus x cubed squared is positive x to the 6. So, this bit comes 3x power of 6 over 256. Cool. Okay, then part C says, using our answer to part B, find an approximation for the integral between 0 and 1 of 1 over root 4 minus x cubed with respect to x, giving our answer to 7 decimal places. Okay. So, we know then that the integral between 0 and 1 of 1 over root 4 minus x cubed with respect to x is the same as, well no, it's approximately the integral between 0 and 1 of our expansion from part B, which was uh, one half add x cubed over 16 add 3x sit uh, to the power of 6 over 256. With respect 
2x. So, if we integrate that, that's going to give us x over 2. Add x to the 4 over 64. Add 3x to the power of 7 over 7 times 256, which is 1792 between 0 and 1. Now, luckily, every term is just going to go to 0 when x is 0. So this is just going to be 1 half add 1 over 64 add 3 over 1792. Now to 7 decimal places, that is going to give us 0 0.517. So zero point five one seven two nine nine one. Cool. Okay, D part one. Almost there for this question. Edward, a student, uh, decides to use this method to find a more accurate value for the integral by uh, increasing the number of terms used in the binomial expansion. We want to explain clearly uh, whether Edward, Edward's approximation will be an overestimate, an underestimate, or if it's impossible to tell. So we need to spot something here going on with our expansion. Every term in 4 minus x cubed to the power of minus 1 half is positive. So, every term in the expansion is positive. So that means every extra term Edward uses is going to add to the value that we got. So every additional term is increasing the estimated value. Now, what's going to happen is these terms go on forever and ever and ever. So, what's happening if we keep adding amounts, we're getting closer and closer to the actual value but we're never going to get there, so we are always going to have an underestimate. So we could say, therefore, we would always have an underestimate. Cool. Okay, then D part 2, Edward uh, goes on to use the expansion from part B to find an approximation to the integral between minus 2 and 0 of 1 over root 4 minus x cubed with respect to x. We want to explain why Edward's approximation is invalid. Okay. So, remember that in this guy, 1 add x to the n is only valid when 
the mod of X is less than 1. So, 1 at X to the N is only valid when mod X is less than 1. Now, if we just worry about the bracket part um, of our expansion as a gun. Um, oh, never mind. Now we know then that we were doing uh, 1 over root 4 minus x cubed. Now that is 4 minus x cubed uh, to the minus a half, which we turned into 1 half times 1 add, no, 1 minus Um, x cubed over 4. So, if we compare x cubed over 4 to x, then x cubed over 4, the modulus of it, well, actually, we would write that as so you know we can leave it like that. So we know the absolute value of x cubed over 4 has to be less than 1. So that we can write as uh, 1 quarter times the modulus of x cubed has to be less than 1. So let's now solve that for the modulus of x. Let's multiply through by 4, so mod x cubed has to be less than 4. Therefore, if we cube root, the modulus of x has to be less than the cube root of 4. Now we know that. Now we know that. Uh, he's integrating between minus 2 and 0. Now the absolute value of minus 2 is 2. And also we know that well, the square root of 4 is 2. So the cube root of 4 is going to be even smaller than 2. So we know that the... Uh, cube root of 4 is less than 2. So, the expansion is invalid because The absolute value of minus 2 is greater than the cube root of 4. Cool.